a reading of the New Testament as written by the Gullah people. It's the New Testament, uh, uh, well, they, they wrote it because they uh, uh, was translating uh, from the King James Version of the Holy Bible. And that's the way the Bible is written. This is the King James Version here in the smaller type there. That's the, you know, the Marlowe, Shakespeare kind of language. And uh, this is the Gullah right there. So we, as usual, we pick any cause it's such a, we pick any page because it's such small type. Then we use our, our glasses, our reading glasses that we got from the VA. Uh, let's go, well, John 7. Let's go to John 7 on page uh, uh, 341. John 7. Uh, I'm, I'm tempted to, to go to 25, but I'm going to go to 27. <laughs> John 7, 27. But when the Messiah come, nobody ain't going to know when he come from. And we all know when this man come from. And the translation is, uh, how, be it, how be it, we know this man whence he is, but when Christ cometh, no man knoweth whence he is. And so once again, we do, we, we read twice. Uh, uh, this is 27, uh, John, uh, John 7, 27. But when the Messiah come, nobody ain't going to, gonna know when he come from and we all know when this man come from and again the 27 translation is a uh, how be it we know this man whence he is but when christ cometh no man knoweth whence he is and that's the reading uh this is a saturday and so what we usually do is we we uh, we read it then we explain uh, the set we explain what we're doing since it's a Saturday. So if you're just here for the reading, which we do every uh, Monday through Saturday, and we post it up, uh, you know, sometime. <laughs> uh, usually it's, it's like the early next morning, like, like well, Eastern Standard Time, like 12 or something like that. To, you know, like a little bit after midnight, that kind of thing. Well, that's one thing to tell you, right? And the other thing, well, take my VA glasses, reading glasses. Um, um, and again, the the uh, the the reading is the of the the, the New Testament is the is the Gullah people. These are peoples of um, of my lineage. My my lineage from my, my maternal side. My great grandfather was uh, was Gullah Geechee. He's married to a, a, a Mohawk, a full Mohawk Indian. Uh, well, First Nation, whatever, whatever whatever people are calling themselves these days, they're human beings. <laughs> okay, I'm going to get into all that. Um, like that, and when I start off, you see, I, I use this is a kente cloth that uh, I guess kente cloths come from uh, uh, Kenya, Ghana, somewhere around there. Um, but they come in all different kind of patterns and stuff like that. I just happened upon this pattern a long time ago, and I sort of like these colors. I have another one. I it's got to be someplace. I don't know where, but it's someplace. I have a picture of it <laughs> um, that I particularly like. It's more subtle, it's darker, whatever it is. Um, so I like kente cloth. Um, so I use that, and when I start off, uh, I always hit, touch it to my heart, touch it to my mouth, touch it to my head, my brain, or whatever. It's, or sometimes I go reverse, touch my brain first, my mouth, and then, and uh, then my heart. Sometimes you don't see my heart because it's, you know, it's all the way down there, and the way we have frame. See, like, oh, I got my John Henry Clark T-shirt on here. So uh, look at that. I'm not debating anybody. I'm teaching people right now. So. I like John Henry Clark. He used to teach us, you know, people don't know, John Henry Clark was teaching all his life. I grew up in a cadet corps, and uh, he'd come by the cadet corps and talk. <laughs> you know, 55th Street. Um, so I use this, I try to look ecumenical. Oh, the brother using the big word. You know, so this is my Ogun cap. And this is supposed to make me look ec ecumenical, like, 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 those, you know, like, like, like that, so I always wear this. I let I wear it on the green side because this is this is old has this. Uh, it okay, it comes from 
there's a restaurant in Cape Town called Cape to Cuba, right? And their staff wears these hats, right? And it's, it's green on one side, it's black on the other side, and um, and and so well, that's just the hats they wear. And you can, you can make it on the black side or the green side. I always use the green side for these things. I guess I'm trying to match up with the with the green here, and uh, and like that. And 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 what it is is people. It's not from the. It's not really the restaurant. It's not. It's not the. It's not Che's hat stuff like that. It actually, for me, it symbolizes. Uh, I'm a child of Ogun. Ogun, and it, this would be in the, in the. Um, and the Nigerian, the, the the Yoruba, Yoruba culture, and then when it went to Brazil, it was came Condomble, and the, and, the, and the colors are blue. And well, I think now nah, I always get this mixed up. I should look it up in my. I should look it up right now. I should look it up right now. Hey, I'm gonna take some time. Hold on, I'll be right back. I'm gonna look it up right now in my. I have my book here, in the book of Anthony. Hold on, because you know everything. I I, I used to. Um, I used to. Uh, oh, come on now. I hope I can find it right away. I hope I just didn't bury it someplace. Anyway. Oh, here it is. Hey, got it right away. <laughs> you know, I actually have a degree, an uh, undergraduate degree in communication. And I have, and for that, I had, I had two internships. One intrip, internship I had was from... Uh, uh, was from a uh, the, like the biggest radio station in New Brunswick, New Jersey. I went to to um, Livingston College, part of Rutgers University. And the other one, so I uh, in radio. Okay, so I had an internship with the radio. Then the other one I did an uh, internship out of the out out of um out of uh, I want to say um no Camden. You know, out of Camden. No, what else was it? Was it was it Camden? It was oh man, where oh gosh, up here. Trenton is north. Okay, yeah, it was Camden, the uh, newspaper there, and uh, and I asked the guy <laughs> one time, I said, "How do you spell a certain word?" He said, "I'm not certain. But I'm not sure I know how to spell it, but I know where to find it." <laughs> he just reached it back and got a dictionary like that because you know how to spell the word, get the dictionary. But we won't get into that. Um, actually, dictionaries are very nice because you can look at it, and then if you're looking for a word, you find other words. And <laughs> the discovery is always nice. But let's look up. This is the book of Anthony, right? So I'm, you think I remember, see? See Ogun, I'm a child of Ogun. I did a child of Ogun. Um, where am I? Now, let me see. Known as Ogun, uh, black, uh, okay, Ogun. Uh, uh, Ogun, Ogum, Ogu, and in voodoo, Ogun. Oh yeah, they're, they're just think of think of these sessions like like a voodoo session, right? And I particularly like the West African a thing of voodoo, right? Because uh, I, you ever been to a voodoo ceremony, any you know, church or whatever? What they do is they they lay it out first. You got they lay out these chalk marks. Well, well lay lay the things out. Uh, you know, I guess you know, what else? Lay the thing, lay the pattern out, right? And then they basically they assume that all of the spirits are in this space. I guess because they call it laying out. I don't know that part. Don't, don't, don't hold me to that part. Then what happens? Um, they address each spirit if they don't need they, they like say for instance you have the, the spirit of 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 of, of writing you know what I mean? and you don't want you don't need this but you talk to the spirit and then you offer something the spirit supposed to split right you know and say your spirit of finance you talk to the spirit then you know, it splits right the spirit of health you know but it splits now if you if you was there for say health and then you give your speech and you da 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 then you can you can leave then right and people always come in, in and out as far as I know this is a ceremony I went to. And we, and you know they have food in the back. You know you could eat. You can, you can touch puts the paper. Da, 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 da. So it's like that. You can y'all y'all don't have to stay here. Y'all can you can now leave. Cause the thing is done, right? Because I got other stuff to say right now. Okay. Uh, Ogun Ogun is a spirit of iron, the divine blacksmith. Essentially, because Ogun is iron. And when you see Ogun, he's depicted. I think I have a depiction. Here we go. This is Ogun. You see, you got that machete up there, holding a the machete high. That's that machete there, and it usually picked with the glass, the grass skirt, right, and the machete. That's what you know, and you know the naked body. Uh, interestingly enough, I'm really a child of Ogun. I used to be, I used to be an artist model for a long time. Naked body, get it? Oh, don't worry about that part. Um, so, and and, and the iron, because of iron, and iron also translates to steel. But let me get up. Um, uh, because of his work at the forge, he is the Orisha of industry and technology. Okay, 
the computer is his domain because of its connection to technology and progress. Uh, I guess they put it in. It, and also the locomotive train. I, mean, I haven't read this in a long time. I, I like it. I'm into trains, right? Well, I, hence the name T from the Pattersons, taking the train to Tibet. Yeah, okay. Um, because of this amount of iron used and because of the tremendous, almost unstoppable force of a train. Ooh, I forgot about that part. A, Ogun Summer is an unstoppable force. But remember, well, let me see if they keep on going, see what, what they say, um, uh, train. Um, uh, uh, because of the amount of iron used, because of tremendous, almost unstoppable force of the train. Uh, uh, now, let me say, okay, let me keep on going. This. He is the Orisha who clears the obstacles for you on your spiritual path. I forgot that too. Right? Uh, uh, so the Bashetti belongs to him. Let me hold hold it right there for a second. Okay, let me show you what I mean by spirit or path or whatever have you. Because remember, iron also is you forge iron, you can make steel, you know. So he's also into um, medicine. People don't really do that part, but you know, like surgery and stuff like that. Okay, but here's this is interesting because here's how the story goes. Um, uh, the 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 Arishas, you know, the selected heads, uh, were trying to come down, to, like like aspects of God. Well, I don't know, selected head, they put selected heads. Um, were, were trying to come down to Earth. Every time they come down, they come down, and the grass was grown, and they couldn't get through. So finally, they called on Ogun. They say, "Hey, Ogun, we got a problem. You know, we trying to get it. Because you call on, you can call on Ogun because you got a problem, right? So he takes his iron thing, he cuts a path through, and then they can go through. Ogun don't get no credit for a lot of stuff they do. Which, which, again, you know, I'm a trained stage manager. Stage managers don't get credit for what they do. You know what I mean? Uh, it's like a, in film, I guess everybody's in film. It's like unit, your unit production manager. That's like a stage manager. He knows, he knows everything, puts everything together, but don't get the credit, all right? Okay. Um, um, he is a fierce warrior. That's what people know Ogun as, and that's actually true. Uh, but one who has the demeanor of a grim soldier. Uh, let's call, they say grim soldier. Let's just say a seasoned soldier. Uh, 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 you know, what, what's that word? I, for, I don't know the word I'm trying to figure out. You know, uh, uh, um, yeah, uh, you're, you're jaded. You're, you know, you're, well, whatever it is. Who is concerned more with defense than offense. Okay. So Goon is not the person that's going out there trying to start a fight. <laughs> you know, yeah. Uh, He's just, just trying to say, okay, oh, troops. It's like Shango is the one that goes says, hey, go get him, right? there. And Goon is going to say, oh, I got to go get him. Uh, I'm going to wait out here. You know, who will come? Or no, if we're going to go get him, then we have to do this, 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 this. So anyway, you get it. The military and the police are also aspects of Ogun. Ooh. Offering to him many... Offering to him may include... Oh, offerings to may include tools, railroad spikes, and anything made of iron. Ogun... Uh, synchronizes with St. Peter. Oh. I always think the guy with the, with the animals and stuff because Ogun is usually in a cave and he's with a, you know, feeding the animals. He feed, feeds his dogs all the time. He, he's not concerned with anything like that. Anyway. Oh, and then, then I go on. And that, that I got from someplace. I don't I get that from someplace. But, uh, oh, here's the other thing. Mm. Let me keep on reading. And f and from my own knowledge and research, I did some research on this. Aspects missing from the above description include Ogun also as a healer. Okay, this book. His colors are green and black with a bit of red. A bit of red comes from the Yoruba branch, Santa Maria, running through Cuba to North America. Okay, so uh, the, the red, black, and the green. Okay, Ogun's colors in North America that comes through the Cuban strain like that is is uh, um uh, black green with a bit of red that's why i, I use this right uh, uh comes from the Yoruba branch Santeria, running through cuba north america the nigerian west african source of a goon's color is blue okay there you go blue got that almost right and the condom blade because it went through brazil uh the brazilian uh branch sees Ogun's colors as blue and white there you go I gave, I bet, I got, I got, I got, I got it from the book of Anthony. <laughs> so now you know. Okay, and then, uh, and then the course is set while I'm here in Virginia. I built the set. You got the David, uh, 
Brenda, this is his name. I got, I got, I got to try to look this guy up. I got to try to interview this guy. The, it's a, it's an art. It's it's a it's a it's a flag. Uh, as you can see, it's it's a, you have the black, the red stripes, and then you have the green thing, and then the, the black stripes. And it is it he he's he's a, a black American, whatever African American, whatever you want to call it, right? Um, um, that did it. There was a. a and when it was biennials, you know, like every two years, the arts art people do some some big thing. And and for one year, I forget when it was. It must have been in the eighties. I don't know, seven, whenever it was. Um, I got that written down someplace too. I could look it up, but I won't. Uh, and uh, so he made that flag for it's an art piece, right? Now remember, I told you I I, I used to be an artist model. I have a disaffinity towards art. Um, being an artist model, I used to go I go to. I used to go to museums a lot. I would, I would go with the classes with the art students, you know, to a museum and learn about it. Like I just finished going to the um, uh, the exhibits at uh, the New York uh, Heritage, New York Heritage Museum over there on Seventy Seventh Street in uh, Central Park West, um, where they had uh, Kwame Brathwaite's um, uh, some of his photos he some he's got huge amount of photos but just when he was doing with the with the models when they started the black uh black is beautiful thing in in the 60s with, with, with the models and so we had that exhibit there um but we took a tour um uh, my, my my sorority sister well i, I wasn't in sorority i'm in the pentagon military fraternity she was in pentagon sorority right but anyway when i come to town she's, she's a museum thing now so she, so we always try to go to a museum something like that see how she is because everybody's getting old you know guys make sure people are anyway so so we went there and uh and and we took the tour you know took spend the money and took the tour um you know and, and it's fascinating that's why i say go to the museum if you just be in any place for a, a while take the tour whatever i forgot they have some fancy french name for what these tour guys are Take the tour, then you can come back another time, and you know, and you have more knowledge than you can you spend time because museums always change their, their things all the time. I know why I went off on that, but but I did. Um, but what I was just saying because uh, I'm into art, right? Uh, in fact, talk about art. This cat right here, it, it's such a beautiful a drawing, and I use it as a thing of scholarship, you know, like that. Um, this is a, a T-shirt with my last name on it, Sloan, which. Actually, Sloan translates to warrior. That's the Anglo meaning warrior. So that's it. Oh, got a map of Africa right there. The original, this is one before they carved it up. You know, before the Europeans, you know, carved it up and and, and dis dispersed it to all their peoples. <laughs> all of it. And here, this is a picture of me and my wife. And uh, it's interesting because this picture, um, uh, she's African, by the way. She's, uh, she, one side she has the, um, what you call that? The, the Zulus and the other time you had the Kwisan, the Kwisan, the, 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 the San people, you know, with the little burrows and bow and arrows, they, they run you down, you know, but they, they look slight, whatever. Anyway, so that's, that's where we're, we're in Alice. Uh, I'm actually wearing, uh, we're in Alice, and that's a, you know, one of those Judah, you know, Rasta flags, right? Like the guy that, that, that was uh, doing the picture, he made sure they cropped it so that the, the flag would stay in, right? But we look like a typical third world, if you want to put it that way, couple, you know. We could be any place in the diaspora, right? You know, you could uh, Jamaica, you know, we could be uh, Mali, we could be any place, right? And, and you know, Rasas, Rasas are all over the planet. Rasas are like the Chinese. They have a presence every place on the planet, just to let you know. Oh, right here, you see, that's my, my grandnephew there. And that picture there, he's holding his fist up. We didn't tell him to do that. He just did that. So he's holding his fist up. Like that drawer. Uh, on this side, let me see. Oh, um, this is a, a zebra, a zebra, as they say in South Africa. Uh, this here, this is actually a holder for um, for uh, your, your phone, right? I almost had to use it because my other one had broken, and but I put the I put the gorilla glue back on it like that. So I just leave this here. I don't know because I like it. I just put it right there. Now uh, this is an article on uh, Henry Duma. Back back there, all these things have significance to me. You know, they they, they feed me. Henry Dumas has been eating since the seventies. Um, oh, and then up here, this is this is interesting because this is a, I didn't realize. Remember, this is a Rasta brother, or you know, his Rasta brother. Then he had the Rasta thing down there. But it's I just like this picture of me and him. It's just a in fact. I want to start a series because of this hat that I have on. It's this hat right here. Oh. Is this my hat right here? My my wife's a, uh, a designer. 
and and so this hat here you see it's like that but it, it's reversible so when we're in predominantly brown i'll wear that side like that if i'm here we're in predominantly black i'll wear that side right there but anyway so that's that hat is in this picture here right it's also is that am i wearing that hat there let me look let me turn around and look <laughs> am i wearing that hat there yes yes i am well there's a hat once again there's a hat there right and then up uh, and then also i want to just note i want to make this note yeah they had the hat right there but i want to make this note the t-shirt i'm wearing right there is the griffina or garifuna depending on how you pronounce it the spanish or the english right um where suppose my, my father on my father's side yeah my, my father my mother's side has um has a uh, gullah Geechee, right but my father and and you know the the gullah people from south carolina but then you have them in georgia and all down the coast which i guess they always go to leave louisiana has some anyway it's like it's a it's a culture that uses like, like a creole kind of kind of language right but then on uh, uh on my father's side supposedly this is rumor right but i've been to these places and believe me they look just like me then that's uh, that that's the Garifuna side like that so that t-shirt is a Garifuna thing from honduras uh but you know my my thing i suppose my father came from uh, uh from panama right who knows you know these things happen being a one night stand with my mama <laughs> oh gosh okay and then uh, so if we had the uh, the brother up there up there you had this this little girl we we i call i, I call these uh, the brothers right these are the brothers that fit you the brother because this made me a wife and whatever like that i call this the brothers right and this up here i call the conspirators see because that's a that's a, that's a little girl that's hanan and she's she's like conspiring we're conspiring she's probably i have the hat right there oh and this here these three cats, I call these the three cats, three cats in Cape Town, right? Um, uh, so this white guy here is her father. Her mother is is uh, is, is is colored, right? Um, anyway, so that's, that's that's they're they're related. Those two, you wouldn't know that unless I told you that, I suppose. And this is me wearing a Zulu. The remember the set? Okay, let's look at the set again. Oh, do you see it? Oh, I gotta move the thing. See here. That's the Zulu. The, the Zulus wear this as part of their thing. Oh, it's my normal flag. It's my normal radio um, banner or flag or thing that my wife uh, stitched for me, right? But that's the that's the um, they wear that like like a vest, right? And then they have, but they have the headdress. So that's the headdress that goes with this that was gifted to me from this guy here, who's a hundred. Well, he's he's Zulu. He's 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 a he's a cultural ambassador or so i mean every time he, he tells you he'll tell you zulu 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 even though he has to work <laughs> and, and i also live in um in a in a uh closer the east closer you know i'm a closer a stronghold of eastern cape okay so that's where i see in fact, in fact me and my wife we're in alice there but we just moved we live in a uh in a village that's about an hour 45 minutes outside of um outside of king is williamstown but um I my t I do my tasking in Timbaza, right? I know. So so anyway, so that's the set, <laughs> and uh, there's a light that it's like that, and then I have this this ceiling light which has a fan which I've been put the fan on because I'm through with y'all, and it's uh and uh, it's head high, it's medium. They put it on low. <sighs> New ceiling fan. I'm living luxury. I'm not gonna tell you the rest of the room. This is very uh, serene room you know you sleep here you can you sleep deep right so so that's it that's it for me t from the patterson's taking the trains to bed letting you know what i only suspect